All right, gentlemen. Another week, another win. It's got to be lovely. Lovely out there in the D.C. area. Everybody having a good time. We're about to take over Baltimore. You know, as we all do, we watch podcasts and we listen to the the uh, Washington Commander podcast, getting the information, everybody hearing everybody talk, hearing everybody get happy about the team and the past wins and the future wins they plan on getting. One thing that resonated with me all week, <clears throat> Fred Smoot. Fred Smoot, he has his times that he's funny. He has his times that he's serious. But this time, he said something that resonated. That sounded good to me. And that was, Baltimore better watch out. Because Omar's coming to town. Omar! Omar coming to town, baby. Omar, baby. The and wire. We're going to smash it out, baby. Everybody know when they hear that, they better get off the field. Get out they the corner, get. baby. Because <laughs> the man's walking down there with a shotgun hanging out in trench coat in 90 degree weather. <laughs> you got to be careful with a fella like that. Now, yeah. Omar is JD5, fellas. He is playing up to par. He looks good. He looks He's like taking Drew Hill, Hill, baby. Taking Drew <laughs> Hill. <laughs> <laughs> you might be getting too deep, some people. <laughs> y'all better go watch the wire before y'all watch the game. <laughs> that might be before the time, Deacon. That might be before the time. Maybe, maybe. Hey, it's worth the watch. It's worth the watch. As a matter of fact, it's worth the binge. Just sit down for a couple of days and binge. Watch a whole season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What do y'all think, fellas? I mean, we, we're going in. Obviously, it's going to be a tough game, man. These guys don't play. They are a professional football team. Oh my coming. Professional staff. Oh my coming. Professional quarterback. They got a lot of professionals in that organization. Oh my is coming though. All right, I'll talk about it. <laughs> hey man, I listened to my man uh, JD5 talk, and the, the the reporters tried to compare him to Jackson. And he said, "Hey, look, you know Jackson's a great player, but like he was all political and everything. But I ain't I ain't Jackson. <laughs> I'm JD5." And he had a little slight little grin on his face, but it, he had that killer thing behind his eyes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that I see in athletes and, and those jokers, you know what I'm saying? And I see in Omar. He ain't called, he like, I, he felt disrespected that you called him Jackson. Uh oh. You know what I'm saying? That you, he, they compared him to Jackson. He felt disrespected. He was like, I'm JD5, that's Jackson. He's a great player, but I'm JD5. You know what I'm saying? So I say all of that to say um, this dude's a special player, man. He's a special mm-hmm. player. And he out to prove something to the league, man. He's out to prove, and he liked the big game. He likes the big game. And we know that this, the stations have been fighting over this game. Apparently, Channel NBC was trying to take the game from CBS. And CBS said, no way. We want Omar and the team to come up to Baltimore and take them. We going to keep this one, and we're going to give you the A1 broadcast, too. Mm-hmm. And guess who we got for that, the 1 o'clock game? Yeah. They brought out the old cowboy, the old loser cowboy, <laughs> Romo. For the Tony game. Romo. <laughs> Tony Romo for the game. Hey, he love us. He loved throwing the ball to us in the, in the last game of the season. You know what I'm saying? That's my quarterback. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my quarterback. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, Romo is, is broadcasting the game. So you know it's a big game. Mm. And our quarterback likes and I like the fact that he likes it. I like the fact that he felt disrespected. They called him, compared him to Jackson. You know what I'm saying? I like that. And and I'm saying all of that to say is we're gonna be prepared to play. We're gonna play. A, we're gonna play a good game. Now, I got us winning, and I got us playing a, a, a good game. Cause hey, Trey, leader, you got early. our leader's gonna play a good game. You know what I'm saying? And even uh-huh. though the dude is 23 years old, he already our leader. You know what I'm saying? Just like you know what I'm saying. We all knew when LeBron came out of high school and he he walked in that Cleveland basketball court, he was the leader. We knew when North Carolina 
Michael Jordan, Jefferson Jordan, whatever his name is, came on to <laughs> Chicago, he was our leader. Mm-hmm. He was the leader for Chicago Bulls. And we know, when, we, we know when JD5 come out there, he our leader. And he's, he felt disrespected by the comments of the reporters. So I think we're going to play good. We're going to play hard. It's going to be a hard for a game. I'm not disrespecting <laughs> Baltimore, but it's going to be hard for a game. And I got our team winning. Because Omar's coming. Omar's coming. My, my man mm-hmm. Deacon said, Omar's coming. What you think, crazy? <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I, I have been confident and I'm still looking for my money <laughs> I've been very confident I look, I can't wait to the end of the show to see what you're going to put your money where your mouth is Mr. Omar is coming <laughs> um, well he got him with a win he said he got him with a win I, I, I already it, said he got him win I'm already putting it out there the show just started everybody's excited this is our first major challenge battle of the belt meaningful game it's going to be a little different well we got two scenarios one we go in here and we win and we shake up the league or and i'll say it we go in here (coughs) we don't win however our point has been made i think that we will compete no matter what and so I, I don't think it's going to be the traditional blowout um, that we have <coughs> always experienced. I think that we have an opportunity to shut down Mr. Jackson. My more, I'm more concerned with uh, the Titan they got back there in the backfield. That's my most concern. But <coughs> ideally, we're going to compete. And that's all we ask. You know that's and that's and that's the big thing there. I don't want everybody to put all the situation into, you know, uh, if we do lose and lose our confidence in this squad. <coughs> Been established. That is who we are. We are now a team. We are now competitors. We are now the commanders. I think that's one thing that JD Five has done is solidify us as a squad. So I'm 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 with you, Al. I'm 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 all into. I'm, I got us for the win. I think we can. I I think that we can shake the traditional. Uh oh, here we go, and go in and say no. Excuse <coughs> me. No, we're going to go in here and beat these guys. I think that um, Kingsbury has one more game in him. A lot of people say he goes and loses a lot of his stride. I think he has one more game before, you know, the proverbial look what the league has done. They've caught up with the commanders. I get, and I think that athletically, if everybody's healthy, we're going to go in there, man, and really show the league and the world who we are. Win or lose, now, win or lose, Omar or not, you know, <laughs> Omar or Bodie, I don't care. <laughs> Stringer we're bell. Going to, and we're going to be worth the watch, just like the wire was. And, it, and nobody's turning the channel, and everybody's waiting to see what's going to happen. That's true. That's true. And, but you know, the one thing I'm not worried about <coughs> is, Der- is Derrick Henry. I'm not worried about Derrick Henry <coughs> at all. <coughs> and I think that's because you get that guy going east and west, which everybody knows. He's not as strong. You can't. You can't. You can't have him going north and south. That's the only thing. And, and the Bengals did that until the end. They forgot in overtime to let this guy go east and west and not north and south. Once he got north and south, it was over. The game was over. You see how he just ran over people and pushed them out the way. I think our squad knows this, and I think we're in the the right moment now that we are not going to allow that. It was lucky for us he did that to the Bengals because that just a re- reaffirming that this is what you got to do for this guy. And I don't think, and as average as our cornerbacks are, I don't think he can pick us apart. I think I think our bend but don't break type of defense works for us at this moment. Every now and then, because you can't go up and down the field all the time. You know what I mean? We do, but they can't do that. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to shut him down. We're going to shut Henry down. And we're going to make 
No, <laughs> but we're gonna make Lamar throw the ball, <clears throat> and that's 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 what everybody tries to do. But I think we're gonna be able to do it for some reason. I just listen. I'm not betting against our team until we lose. I'm, I'm done betting against our team. <coughs> that ain't gonna happen. What? That ain't happen. So I got I got this for the win because I think that we can ground this game out. Our our backs are better than their backs, including Derrick King. You put us together, they're three and our three. I think I think I think I was a better. And I'm not even a huge huge B Rock fan, but I think he gets the yards that are important. He's a he's a true every down back. I don't think Derrick Henry is a true every down back. He doesn't hit the hole like Robinson does. He doesn't. He's not as aggressive as uh, B Rob is. When he gets downfield, he is, but not through the hole. That's just my opinion. I watch. That's what I see. I see him tip throwing through the hole as putting his head down and trying to get those three yards every every down. I think he tries to break a big one every play, and you can't do that. Oh well, yeah, look at me all you want. That's what I see. Okay. That's what I see. I see an average back. I see a Hall of Famer. Hey, Deacon, I need to borrow your glass. Come on, man. Hall of Famer. Come on, man. You saying Henry's not a Hall of Famer? Come on, man. Hey, he might be on the cusp. Oh, oh. He might be on the cusp. He's not. He's he's not an automatic Hall of Famer. You can't just you can't just get in by a stiff arm or somebody and have a highlight film. Come on, man. Well, how I mean, he's, he's, had, he's had, what do you say, about five miles worth of uh, uh, running. He's, he's been around a while, so, you know. Okay, well, I'm going to say. The average is back. He's average at best, but he's on the cusp of that uh, gold jacket. I give him that. He's on the cusp okay. because of what he does. Right. Well, I'm so glad you Average, it average up the middle. Average up the middle. Superstar when he gets 10 yards downfield. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm glad you're getting a little clarification. Hey, look. I'm not going to slight the, the the Baltimore Ravens. They are a good team. And that's the reason why it's a big game. That's the reason why I'm excited about the game, because we hadn't had one of these big games since 2012. You know what I'm saying? It's been a while. And it, it was it, it's been a good 10, to over 10 years since we had a big game that we felt like we was competitive. Even the Cincinnati game that we won, we went, well, me and Deacon went to the game like, oh, okay, we're going to try our best. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we know, and we blew them Bamas out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so now I'm excited. I'm happy for it. I'm excited. I think we're going to be competing. I think we're going to win. And yes, Henry's going <laughs> to make his plays. Jackson's going to make his plays. But we're going to make our plays too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We're going to make our plays too, defensively and offensively. Defensively and offensively. So, I, like I said, I'm just appreciative for us to be back in the saddle again it feels so good you know what i'm saying and i and the fact that jd5 came on the air the other day and said like i just my personal opinion he said okay yeah jackson's good but i'm jd5 jd5 you know what i'm saying <laughs> so you know what i'm saying so that to me you never want to uh, ride any other man's coattails you want to be your own man and i like the way he, and he was humble about it when he said it he was very humble mm-hmm. but i saw that little the little thing in his eyes saying, I'm gonna cut these bamas up. I'm ex- you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna <laughs> hey doubt me if you want to. Doubt me as you want to. And that hey man, I was fired up. I'm ready. I'm ready, he, man. He, he sees the game, I think. Finally. He sees the game. It is is his in game calls, even when he talks to his coaches and say, Let's try this, let's try that. He sees the game as it's going on and not just on in, on the film, you know what I'm saying? He mm-hmm. sees what's going on on the on the field at that time. That's why I think at this point they haven't caught up to him yet because he's not acting like a rookie. You can't just throw a defense out there and then blitz him and expect him to uh, uh, to you know fold like a cheap tent. You know he's either going to get out of the pocket, get some yards. He's going to get out of the pocket, throw a bomb. He's going to do something that is going to allow the team to uh, get another uh, four down. So you can't treat him like a rookie right now because, first of all, he's a dual threat quarterback, which means he will run the ball. If you turn your back and play a, a, a man defense, he's going to easily get you five, six yards on a broken play. So you're going to have to play some kind of zone, some kind of tricky, you know, 
uh, inside outside zone or zone one side man on another side something like that but we're going to see this is going to be a nice test for our team and even if we lose I guarantee you it won't be an easy game it won't be and that's where we are right now right we that, are if you play are right. us you better that's bring exactly your lunch because we are going to thump we might not win but we're going to make you think about whether you should have quit <clears throat> that's right but trey i was gonna ask you this question trey me and me and deacon before we got on on the uh, recording and everything we was having a conversation about another sport and we were saying even in your rookie year everybody shows you some spark if they're a good player then the great ones a lot of times they are great even in their rookie year and they might not have learned to win the championship or nothing like that but they still are great players even in their rookie year so i get you know and in typically in football you then they won't be passionate with homes the rookie year but passion was showing in his rookie year sparks of being great you know what i'm saying and <laughs> And this particular team, I feel like JD Five. This is the this is just the spark of being great. He not dead yet. When you watch the All Twenty Two, you see him missing things, especially. But you, and also you see him progressing too as the years go on. As the the five games, some things that he's doing now that he wasn't doing against Tampa Bay. You know what I'm saying? So you see him getting better. You see him learning the the NFL game. You know what I'm saying? At the same time. Tampa Bay, I think he had three touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? At the right. same time. So, I, my question to you, besides JD5, as a, our rookies, if any of the other rookies have made a spark to you, and the flash. Has any misses? Or any, or any misses? Um, in this first year, this first year, I'm not talking about the previous <laughs> Ron years and all that. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about uh, Peter's first your year. Boy, uh, your boy in Chicago is coming around. Number one, he's coming around. Uh, I thought he was a miss. I thought he was going to be, uh, uh, who can I say, uh, uh, your boy out of, um, who's now in Carolina. Oh, yeah, uh, young, young. Yeah, he does. Oh, you talking about you talking any rookie? I thought you were talking about our rookie. <laughs> no, no, well, no. Any, well, I was talking about any rookie and our rookies too. Both of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Besides JD, the current, you know, the current rookies, the right? current rookies. Yeah, yeah. Because even when he was talking, I, I thought you was going to stay within the team, and the only other person I could think of is Bobby Three Sticks. And as much as tragically that story was, man, Bobby Three Sticks came into the league and did exactly what JD Five does. I compare JD Five to him on our team he gradually grew he did other things it, you, we we couldn't stop but get excited about this guy <clears throat> until his injury um jd5 hopefully will never have to experience that and and we have been uh, graciously blessed to avoid injury um but it's overall man um rookie bus i mean drake may He's playing this week. This week he's playing. Yeah, but this is his first game. I mean, it ain't like he first started game. out. That was a number three pick. What? I, I don't count that because I think that for like for example, a guy like Penix. I mean, we haven't seen him suit yeah. up like that either. So um, I don't, don't want to take kick because a lot there are still old school ideas, man. That you put a um, a good quarterback on the bench and learn in the back, man. When he comes out there, he can be a Manning. He can he can uh he can be a uh the goat was his uh uh Brady Brady. Brady came off the bench when your boy went down. He didn't start like that. So there are a lot of guys who traditionally breeze even. Um I don't think they came out and just started. That that was a new trend more recently than old. Especially for quarterbacks. Quarterbacks always came in to hold the clipboard. And then <laughs> <clears throat> I think one or two of them, Cadillacs came out the uh, college, and they put them out there, and they and they perform, and so people started rushing them in there, and I think that's what also ruined a lot of careers mm -hmm. because they weren't ready, they didn't hold the, the clipboard, and they, they went out there thinking that it was going to be, you know, collegiate ball, and it, and it's not, and 
um leaf they said leaf was rated was it ryan leaf leaf am i going that far back but i'm saying he was supposed to be the best quarterback since quarterbacking and he never reached that claim you know what i'm saying so um, well, let's let's do this let's do this let's do our, our draft picks so we, we're gonna pass on jd because everybody knows that he's performing our second draft pick was Jazan Newton. Now he's been injured, so he's kind of what 50 50 at this point. Yeah, I've seen him make plays, I haven't seen him anything a flash. I've just seen him make some tackles. You know what I'm saying? When you watch the all 22, he does make tackles, but he's not flashing. Mm-hmm. He's he is playing though, he's out there, he's playing, he's not flashing though. Sam is still. Couple of sparks. I seen some sparks. I seen some sparks from him. He's he's actually uh, he's starting in place of Forbes. Forbes is his backup, so he's playing outside corner. Well, is he? I thought he was playing he's, slot. No, he's not. He's playing what is, outside. What is Ibnagni playing? Ibnagni's yeah, playing slot, and he's playing outside corner. Is and himself? Forbes is his backup, so he's replaced Forbes as that other corner on the other side. And they interchange Forbes and him interchange. He plays more than Forbes. Oh, yeah, he does, yeah, definitely. I see some sparks. He hit somebody last week, the quarterback. The quarterback got mad. He busted the quarterback. The quarterback got mad. Who was that? Uh, Watson got mad. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he should have got out of bounds. Mm-hmm. Trey, what about Ben Sennett? I haven't seen him. <clears throat> I've seen him. He's, he's, he's been on the field on, on 13. He's yeah, seen he, right now. He's open. JD5 is just not hitting him. He's open. JD5 is not hitting him. Okay, I'm be honest with you. JD5 is not hitting any of the tight ends, right? Really, he's not, but her hurts. JD5, and he's, oh, I've seen him open. His blocking is off the hook. Really, actually, I'm going to say, I'm going to give him sparks too because I see him do some really good blocking, man. That run, those run, that running game, those trap plays, that, that play that your boy um, Austin Eckler broke, that was his block that broke him. He, mm-hmm. he came down and he broke him. So his blocking has been excellent. And he's been open. JD5 is just still progressing as a rookie himself. And sometimes he misses the, the, the tight ends he has already. Yeah. And, you, and, and when you're a passing receiver, you need your quarterback to throw you the ball. He hasn't even thrown in the ball. Yeah, that's, that's that's exactly right. So I'm going to say a spark, Deacon. I'm not going to say he's flashing, but it's a little spark. Brandon Coleman? Be honest with you, I'm gonna give him flash. Yeah, he's won the position, I think. Uh, well, he's still interchanging with the big guy. I can't think. Yeah, no, no, I'm, but I'm saying to me, well, let, let's let's say to for me, he's one next year starter. Yeah, I, he's gonna start next year. I've seen him. He was blocking the main dude, the one of the guy, best, yeah, the mm-hmm. best dudes. And what's his name for Cleveland? And he was handling his own. Now they were chipping him. They were chipping, he yeah, was but still, that dude, huh? Even chipping, that dude usually gets to the quarterback. He, yeah, he does. On the, he didn't even show up on the. Uh, he did not have a sack. He um, was some big stats. No tackles, no sacks, no hurries, no yeah, nothing. Man, that dude Coleman. I'm he gonna got, say he, he, he got negated. He got negated. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna say Coleman flash. Coleman is flash. McCaffrey. I'm gonna say flash, but JD Five is not hitting him. He was, yeah, touchdown another, last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another one. He was wide open. I've seen him a couple of times being no, wide yeah, open. Yeah, I seen him. He's getting open. I'm gonna say flash because then when he does throw it, he catches that ball. He had a tough catch last week where the ball was a little off target. The dude was hitting him before the ball got there. He made the catch. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say flash on him. Well, let me ask y'all this then. Let me try. Uh, so we keep saying flash, but he's not getting the ball. Is JD five getting too dependent on for Terry? Why wouldn't you? You know why? Everybody's looking for that relationship. You're, you know, I bet you, I bet you, all the the seven dollars that I got in my pocket and the two in my savings account that um, the coaches are saying, "Hey, we need you to hit our big man." Cause they they also know he's a threat and he's a weapon so <clears throat> he's going that's always the number one look that's and i'm sure in the huddle uh terry's confident enough to say this play right here is mine throw me the ball and so as he goes through his progressions by the time he gets to a senate or a mccaffrey you know he's already found another body open 
And, and I so, think that the rookies are third and fourth, you know, progression. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And maybe after the second progression, when you watch the all 22, you know, a lot of times your man, he go one, two, possibly three. Let me turn on four, two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he turns on four, two, and it changes the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he right. The, he doesn't he even get the four. He, he don't get to the fourth, the fourth read because he has four two in his back pocket. He he shifts that gear and he's forty yards downfield. You know what I'm saying? So that you know. So I'm gonna say uh, McCaffrey is flash though because not only he's doing great in blocking when he does catch the ball, he makes a play. You know what I'm saying? When he does get that third read, he makes a play. Well, does does getting rid of Jahan Dawson make sense now? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm happy we did. <laughs> and we got picked. Because, you know, Dawson on the bench, right now, Philadelphia, unfortunately, I mean, I pray for the brother as a, for a brother, you know what I'm saying? Because Dawson is, has talent. There's no reason why he's on the bench when Philadelphia has lost the two top receivers. And you not, you should be number one receiver now. And you're not. <coughs> so I'm praying for the brother. Right now. Something's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because his That's athletic true. ability, he should be the top receiver for Philly. Yeah, and he's not. Happens, he's not. Something happened. Something happened, so but well, we, got, got, we got pick, we got pick for him. Then we got third, third round pick. Uh, yeah, some we got something for. Him. Yeah. So our last two are Jordan McGee and uh, DQ Dominic Hampton. Uh, I think Dominic's been, he's been flashing on uh, special teams. Special teams, yeah. Jordan <coughs> kind of hurt. He hasn't played yet. I don't think he, he's just got off the pup list, right? Yeah, he's on the twenty-one day thing. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't played yet, so we can't say anything about that. And, and what's the name? Uh, flat. He flashes. A, you know, he sparks on the. But he hits hard on the special. He he won them hard hitters on the special teams. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I think as far as a, a first class, well, first class, but first draft class, they did pretty good, man. All the way down to the key contributors. But Coleman, if Coleman keeps going the way he's going, that's a hell of a draft. You that's found a left tackle yeah. and a quarterback. Now all you gotta yeah. do now is get your court. Now you got to get your defense in and your, your your DB. You ready for championship? Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's another question I had. There's the ESPN and a couple other outlets are saying there is a, a cornerback and wide receiver that are available in this year's trade options that people were looking to get rid of for decent price. Would you make that move if you were Peters? Yeah, I don't think they're making a move, period. It sounds like they're not, but your boy from Cincinnati is available again. He Ooh. is the second receiver. Um, that's the dude named for Cincinnati. Oh, man, we just played him. Not Chase, but... Oh, the, uh, not Team Martin, but you're talking about uh, uh, Mari Cooper? No, no, your Mari Cooper's out there, too. Mari Cooper is out for trade block, but the dude from Cincinnati, from Cincinnati... Um, Martin. Not huh? Team Martin, but T. Higgins. T. Higgins. Yeah. T. Higgins is out there, 6'4", wide receiver, a lot of speed. Brown is injured. It depends, depends on what he wants. If, if, yeah. if, if we can get him at a, a good, and I think you probably can. I don't think he's asking for top money. But if you can get him for a mid-level amount <laughs> of money. They want to draft I wouldn't, him. I wouldn't bring it on anybody right now that will cost us more than Terry's cost. Let me let me, let me ask a question. How, what good named wide receiver, especially in that category. Wide receiver or uh, <clears throat> specialty player. Takes a discount. I We always say that. I, like, where did that happen? Where did somebody go? Mm, I'm going to take less money, guys, because I just love these guys here. I'm just going to play with them. Where did that happen that we started saying that? Because y'all y'all kill me with that when y'all go, we need a discount. We're like, what? <laughs> Not a discount, just a reasonable price. A reasonable oh, price. man, that doesn't exist. You want to play with the crew, man. Well, you know, Nick, it's not really about money. We got plenty of money. I think we're still, what, 25 or 30 million under the cap. That's not the money ain't the issue. It's really how much is this draft? There's pick. nobody because y'all no. not answering the question. There's no, you're right, Nick. No, Jay. Jay. no and that all started with that's, that all started when we were a terrible team. And we wanted to keep Terry or keep somebody, and we wanted him to stay here because he liked DC. You know, he liked the DMV. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but, you know, he liked chili dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like Vince Chili Bowl. 
<laughs> we, we we offering trips around the cherry blossoms and stuff. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Ain't nobody taking no daggone discount. Stop saying that. Are we going to get them or not? And do we need them or not is the question. Well, and if we need certain- them, we would have went and got Ayuko. We, we wanted somebody. We would have went and got one. We don't want them. We don't need them. And, yeah, yeah. and right now, we're going... Well, and well, we're I, think the, I think the difference like is Trey. I think the difference is Trey. We beat the ball. We beat Baltimore. We in line for the playoffs. We beat Baltimore. We in line for the playoffs. Well, when we beat Baltimore. We more secure about making a real run, and we can get Horn from um, from from Carolina. Carolina is fleecing their team because they want pet picks and stuff like that. Horn they was the number one pick, huh? They need a quarterback. Yeah, well, they're they going to get a quarterback. They're going to get your boy Sanders, and they're going to have your boy Dion coaching them. So that's going. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Dion going to follow his son. You know he is. You know he is. You know how Dion do. So, <laughs> but nevertheless, they fleecing the team. They, they got they got a, they got a, a shutdown corner named Horn. Um, what's it? It's actually ex, his father was. He used to play for, um, I want to say his father used to play for either um, New Orleans or something like that. Yeah, but I know this know. dude is a shutdown yeah. corner. He could play man in his own. He was the number one pick. He's six two. He's you know what I'm saying. He you know and they say we can get him for a decent price, fourth round pick, number one pick <laughs> for they a, go discount. To a decent price, a baby. discount, a discount. Hey, you know what? I wouldn't even worry about. It. I wouldn't if listen if we beat Baltimore and we end up five and one. You have to talk, start preparing your team for the playoffs. Right. You got to get a lockdown. A couple moves and you. I don't. I will pay for a lockdown point. I don't need a discount. I will pay for. Okay, but, I'm talking about picks. I'm talking about picks. I'm talking about picks. I'm talking about picks. I don't care about that either. I will give up a third. Okay. I will give up a third for a lockdown corner. There you I'm go. I'm okay with that because that's the other side of the ball. You're not competing. I think that's and and. With what our team is, it looks like the defense is coming on board. And if we can help that along, along with keeping the offense as as tricky as it can be, we might win a couple games in the playoffs. That's I mean, be point. honest, be honest, because our our man can get you five yards on a broken play, and that's what moves change. Six three six nine ain't missing no field goals. He ain't missed one yet. Right. So I mean, we have to start preparing for the future, and sometimes the future hits you a little bit, a little bit earlier than you hey, want. Man, to we, hey, as a as a season commanders Washington fan, I want it now, baby. Right. <laughs> I want it now. You pay for it. You get what you pay for. That's what you <laughs> I want it now. For. I like that. See, now you guys are talking. See, I want it now. Go out and get it. If you got thirty million. Got a guy that wants some money, give him the money and get the game going, man. Stop sitting there, man, taking them around and, and, and showing them, the, you know, the the, the <laughs> live is go go, or you know, the you know what I'm saying, penthouse, it's whatever it's it's it is. I, I'm like, yo, I'm like, come on, man, pay this man <laughs> from Washington to stop goofing off. Nobody, the chicken <laughs> mumbo only go so far, man. Let's go, you, you, man. You're supposed to say mumbo's, man. Not that. that. <laughs> Everybody don't get out here. McGumbo's, man. All right, listen. We've been, we've been BSing, man. And listen, honestly, this game is going to be a good matchup. We are seasoned right now to make these guys put the pressure on them. And normally when we play Baltimore, it's not that kind of game. You know what I'm saying? It's how much is how much is Baltimore going to beat us by. And it was obvious they was going to beat us. It ain't obvious now. Not anymore. Everybody well, in the country wants to see this game. That's right. This is the game everybody's gonna be watching. Fellas, I shut this thing down, man. Well, y'all got any final comments? Well, I'll put my money line in, baby. Put my mind. I'm putting three hundred on the game. Three bones on three Three bones on the win. Fi- he's finally participating. Good. good <laughs> three hundred on the game. My score will be thirty-five. To 21 35 to 21 commanders 300 on the game what you got tracy again i'm 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 just putting my chips back in 300 <laughs> on the win i ain't got no score i'm just going for the win 300 for the win flat all out huh? 
All right, well, shoot. Yeah, I ain't scared. Put 300 down on too. <laughs> you ain't gonna run away from me. You scared though. You ain't gonna run away from me. <laughs> you scared though. I know you are. <laughs> hey, I, I, I dropped 500 in that Cincinnati game. I ain't scared, baby. <laughs> all right, so we got 300 all the way around the box, baby, for the win. Doesn't matter what the score is. We ain't playing the odds. Fellas, on to Baltimore. We're about to bust some heads. Oh my, where you at, baby? He coming, baby. He coming. You don't know. Yeah, you don't, yeah. You don't know who you messing with. Uh, uh, you don't know who you messing with. Uh, uh, you don't know. Uh, you don't know. I run you up and down the Serengeti. Heads ain't ready. I chew you up and spit you out like chicken confetti. My rhymes are heavy like elephants. Stomping your regiments. Dismembering all your limbs. Ripping your ligaments. I break you down to an atom. Change your chemical structure. Roots and culture. You don't want to fuck with this brother. I'm like a time bomb. Over fresh can of Wilsh. Apple stylus plexiglass. Got you face down in the grass. Ready to blast. Sticky for your jewels and your cash. Call me Robin Hood. Take the loot back to the hood. I wish you would try to retaliate. I wait like a sniper. Beat you like street fighter, Come heat on. you up like a lighter. Don't need no ghost writer. Original skill, killing that will. Terminates uh. career like the Ooh. pill. This is real, not no fiction. Came up for my jurisdiction. I'm liver than you. Whether freestyle or written, hitting hard like a hammer, like a natural disaster, like a hurricane. Plain and simple, bringing the pain. Won the battle. What, 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 what? I'm ready to do this. Beat your ass like Lennox Lewis. Play you out like Barker Lewis. You must be foolish. Underestimate my abilities. Come for the C L E V E L A N D. Cause I what what? You don't know who you messing with.